come back for a, a week absence. Yeah, we just gonna because it was hot and yeah. We just, Technical difficulties. Just, because you don't want to do a recap while you're sweating and you're nasty looking. And you're basically almost dying of heat stroke. Yeah. So what we're gonna do pretty much, this is gonna be Raw, Smackdown, and 205 Live only. So we're gonna scoop up Monday Night Raw, then Smackdown, then 205 Live. So. First is Monday Night Raw. Um, starts with a match. Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins versus Sienna Olmes and Vega. Um, Vega Vega got eliminated first, of course. She tapped. By the disarmer, we obviously know. So that means Becky's out. She can't do nothing now. So it's a Seth and Olmes. Um, Vega tries to get involved and attacks with Rollins. We see Lacey Evans sitting like uh, at ringside, and Becky starts attacking her. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was a thing where Becky tried to uh, push the Rollins other way. She gets hit by Almaz, and then that makes Rollins on fire, and he ends up doing um, what's it? The stomp on Almaz for the win. And then, of course, after the match, they're celebrating, walking up the ramp, of course, and they get attacked by Lacey Evans and Baron Carvin. And then we see, and then we see Paul Heyman walking to the ring. Yeah, because he's about, and he's talking. He's just pretty much talking about what Brock's gonna go, blah blah blah. He's the same thing always with Brock Lesnar. And then, then it goes um, a two out of three falls match, six man tag. The Miz with the Usos versus Elias and the Revival. The first fall went to um, Revival and Elias because Revi the Revival did a shadow machine on the Usos. Um, and then second fall it was like an insecure insecure uh, insecurity. Yeah, from the Uso, and then. Miz did a score course and finale. And then Jimmy tags in And then at the end, Jimmy tags in the Miz. Miz gets knocked out at the side. So Jimmy's out there. And then there's Uso's double team on Dawson. And they do um double team on him. Yeah, for the one. I have to, I, I just repeated myself. <laughs> but let's see. And then, and then, splash. Oh, what's that? You, you skipped a bit. This is a super kick. The uh, one of the revivals. Jay hitting the big splash, and then he won. Yeah. Ooh. And then guess who's back? Drake Maverick. No, Rey Mysterio. That's just a little thing with Drake Maverick in the back. Same with the Twenty Four Champion. So it's really important. Yeah, that 24-7 belt uh, is starting to get ridiculous, and basically... I don't know, it's just... I think they just want to laugh for that title, really. I think they just wanted to laugh. But then again, why create a joke title? I don't know. No. Bring back the hardcore thing. That's why a lot of people are tuning out of WWE and focusing on AEW. Now they're thinking about making one of uh, Paul Heyman one of the general managers. That's what they're saying. And they're pissed off. Oof. Um. Now they're desperate. Oh. All right, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio. He's talking, saying, "Anybody in the back that wants to challenge him, Bobby Lashley, come out." Bobby Lashley comes out. Too bad. Bobby Lashley wins. He won with a spear. He threw, and then. After the match, he um, threw Ray out, and he's dragging Ray, and he's lifting, lifting him up. He was going to throw um, Bobby Lashley to what happened with him and Braun, and the ref's saying, nope, drop him. So he stops, then he picks him up again, and then the ref's saying, nope, nope, and then he throws him on the refs, and then, yeah. and then he takes the mic and says that he's going to be the last man standing over Braun, he's going to... Hurt Braun, he's, not, he's gonna make him wait. So he picked up Ray, threw him at the refs, and they're still giving him a match. Yeah. 
so he's not well, they gonna already, get... They already had the mats before Rey Mysterio. Yeah, but such behavior, do you think that deserves a, ma a match? Well, I mean, on 205 Live, they gave Drew, uh, Drew, Mac, uh, Drew McIntyre, Drew Gulak, a title shot. Um, uh, and then it was a quick, an another quick match it was um, No Way Jose for Cesaro, pretty much, because last week it never happened. Oh, well, you know, here, we'll skip that. Cesaro wins, there you go. My sharpshooter. And then it was like a little skit with Mike Canales and Maria Can Canales. Just pretty much saying, get her pickles and ice cream, and then... Because she's saying that she's pregnant. Blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, okay, now I'm fat. Oh, did you call me fat? I'm not fat, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. Pickles and ice cream. Gotcha. And then she, he goes and gets it, and she sniffs the pile. And I goes, how does a man tap to a girl? Because he tapped to Becky Lynch last, the last one, week. So. And then Bailey and Nikki Cross... Nikki saying, it's pretty much Nikki saying that Bailey's jealous of Alexa, and uh, Bailey's just saying she's being used, blah blah blah. We all know that Nikki's being used by Alexa Bliss, and here's the thing, Bliss doesn't deserve that title shot, because Nikki's the one that um, did all the work. And then, it's going to be um, Beat the Clock Challenge, Nikki versus Dana Brooke. Bailey versus Sarah Logan. Whoever wins picks a stipulation. So yeah, spoiler alert. Nikki wins that. <laughs> yeah. And it's a two-on-one handicap match. Yeah, she ends up beating the clock because Bailey's clock... She beat Sarah Logan, but her clock was 4 minutes and 32 seconds. So that's when Nikki had a beat. So she beat Dana Brooke with 1 and 50 seconds. So she did a twist net breaker on Dana Brooke. And Bailey beat Sarah Logan with a sunset flip from from the buckle. There, I did. We did those matches already. Um, and then it was a qu another quick match. It was local talent versus Viking Raiders. Oh my God, the freaking local talent is Justin and Justin. So Cole, Justin, <laughs> and Devin, Je what the hell? <laughs> Justin. <laughs> but. The Viking Raiders win. They win, obviously. They did the Viking experience. No, no things around that. Um, and then you got well, the, well, the main event is supposed to be Roman Reigns fight. Uh, Roman Reigns and a partner that Shane and um, McIntyre choose for him in the back, because it's, it's going to be McIntyre and Shane versus. Roman Reigns and whoever partner they Yeah, they him. keep over here, whatever. They kept going over to the janitors and, then, and all that stuff. And to being Ricochet. First, he's going against Luke Gallows. He wins. And then AJ Styles like, no, 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 let's do what you said. You said all three of us, right? Why? So Carl Anderson. So put nice. Carl Anderson in. You think he could do it? Ricochet he, beats him there. With a 630. And of course, after the match, Styles, he's punching. Blah, blah, blah. Luke Gallows is going after him. The cell list up and then slams, and then the club does the magic killer. They basically go back to their old ways. But there's no John Cena to so they're beating up Ricochet. They were going to do a um, style clash off the top rope, but he stopped him and goes, I'm going to leave you some air for Sunday. But just stay down. But he didn't stay down. He got up. They went back to the ring and beat him up. For now, before arm. The club they went. Him they up. beat up Ricochet because there's no John Cena. <laughs> yeah. And we already did, uh, did, uh, said the yeah we said the those, beat the clock challenge. Yeah, we already said that already. And then let's see. Then we heard about Seth and Becky, they had an interview, they're pretty much just saying they're going to win, they're going to walk in, walk out. But they're saying, but everybody's saying that, oh, because they're in a relationship, that it's going to blindside them from uh, focusing on the match, because, like what happened earlier when um, Almez accidentally atta uh, attacked Becky, Seth was more concerned with her than the match, or he got his emotions in check, so... Something's going to probably happen there. Ooh. But we already know both of them are winning. They're not losing their titles. Yep, exactly. And then the main 
find that Shane McMahon, Drew McIntyre vs. Roman Reigns and they're choosing. They choose this Gary Garbutt, the janitor mm -hmm. that cleans up. But Garbutt actually puts up he a fight. Was, he's putting up a fight. Garbutt were like, whoa, we Gary Garbutt can move. He's going over the top rope. He's a, he's all doing this, this and that. And but then, Shane and um, McIntyre win, and they pin Gary, and then we find out that Gary is actually yeah. Cedric Alexander in disguise, because he was wearing a luchador mask. Yep. And then, let's see, we get Roman Reigns doing Superman punches to both Shane and them. Yeah, in the match and whatnot. It was just, like, crazy. Yeah. Here's the thing. Past two weeks, we don't get anything about the Firefly Funhouse. Yeah, no five five on now. So what's the deal with Bray Wyatt? So. And what we've been actually getting now is uh, a he a face turn for Kevin Owens. Yeah, he's face, and he got Ziggler bad. No, now he's against Shane McMahon. Before they were like saying, oh, when he was heel, they didn't like Shane McMahon because favoritism or whatever that now it's like he's a get he's this he's the stone cold now they're doing that stick because now kevin owens does the stunner yeah. they're making him the canadian st uh the canadian austin yeah let's see because they had a little brawl in the beginning of it <laughs> yeah because here's how it started who puts it who does an interview in the parking lot Dolph Ziggler, blah blah blah, it's me, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. And then, um, car pulls in and it's Kevin Owens, and then Dolph's like, You're ruining my shot, you're ruining my shot! And fucking Owens punched Dolph in the face. I mean, I would punch Dolph, he's just going, It's me, 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 we pop! And then it's a big old brawl in the back. Kevin Owens is bleeding on his lip. Yeah. And then Shane's like saying, You're out, you're out, you're out. You're not having your main event. You're not fighting the uh, Dolph. You're out of here, Owens. And then Owens is almost trying to steal the show, saying, "This is crap. What happened to the whole like we're gonna listen to the fans and all that stuff?" But all I see is the McMahon, uh, the McMahon's have more power than anybody here in the back and all that stuff. And he's like, "Cut the mic!" And then he's calling security all over um, Owens. Yeah, but that was that. Um. Then we have the contract signing. Finn Balor versus Nakamura. Um, oh, Nakamura actually won that. Yeah, he won. He did his King Sasha kick. Well, let's see. He was going to make a count out out of the ring. And then uh, Finn rolled back into the ring at the last second. But then as uh, Finn got up, he uh, kicked him. Yeah. So, so Nakamura won that. So he gets a title shot. Then we see the Bailey, Nikki, uh, Alexa Bliss contract signing. Pretty much Bailey's saying, Alexa, if Alexa loses, she's going to blame you because I'm bringing my A game. And Nikki's just saying, she's not using me. I'm, I'm tired of you people think Alexa's using me. And if me and Bliss win, it's going to be the first ever co-champions. And also told her to stick around to see her match against Carmella. So you can see how Nikki always gets fun. Which Nikki Cross versus Carmella, Nikki wins. She did a twisted neck breaker. And then there's a little thing with Paige, Oscar, and Kari. Well, no, yeah, because um, they did like a live event in Tokyo last week. And it was uh, Asuka and Kari versus the Iconics. And basically now Asuka and... They get a title shot. Yeah. And then they were supposed to do the championship fight last night, but the Iconics were like, oh, we're sick. And then Paige is like saying, no, you're cowards, you're liars, you're nothing, you're, you're, you're a bunch of babies. Yep. And then she bitch slapped one, uh, one of them. Yeah, Billy Kay. Yeah. And then there was this tag team title summit with the New Day, Daniel Rowan, and Heavy Machine. They all talk, saying whatever. Who's gonna win this Sunday? To be honest with you, I want to see him machinery because New Day already had title shots. Dinner Rowan, weird tag team. Machinery, yes. So, and then it goes to a triple threat 
Otis from Head Machinery, Woods from The New Day, and Danny Bryan. Um, that was a good match. Of course, Danny Bryan leaves in the beginning of the match, doesn't want to start it. And then, so it just leaves Otis and Woods, but Otis ends up winning. He, he actually didn't pin Danny Bryan, he pinned Woods. He ended up, um, uh, what did he do? Oh, he, yeah, he did a body slam, like, slammed Woods for the win. But, in that match, it's funny how when Danny Bryan left, he snuck back in behind Otis's back. But, Otis got him off. So. Remember, Danny Bryan's heel, so he's got to do dirty tricks. But, Otis, he did a double suplex on Bryan and Woods in that match. And we actually get to see Xavier Woods actually pick up and hold Daniel Bryan over his own head. Mm-hmm. So. Amber Moon. Yep, Amber Moon, Rose of Elda, Bruce Prim Rose is the same, find a partner next week, so it'll be a tag team match. And Devel saying if you can, and Moon saying if she doesn't, she'll just do it by herself, doesn't matter, blah, blah, blah. And then we find out who Aleister Black's opponent is Sunday, and it's Cesaro. Zazaro. All along, Zazaro. That's new. Zazaro. Right. Let's just skip it to the main event. Now the main event. Dolph Ziggler and Roman Reigns. Of course, Shane, Drew, and Elias are coming out to watch the match. Really? The match is good, good, whatever. Roman wins. He wins with a spear. But at, in the, during the match before he did the spear, Owens came out and did a stunner to Shane. Because Shane was trying to get involved in stuff and whatever. And then ran out. He ran, he ran away before um, he got caught. And then Roman did a Superman punch to and Elias. Got, yep, he Superman punched Elias, got him out of the way. I don't, don't remember what he did to Drew McIntyre. Probably a Superman punch too, I don't remember. But um, when Dolph was focusing on them and he tried to do something, he ran and he got rammed into a freaking spear. Yep, that was SmackDown. And here's a little quicker to if I live. I'm just saying the match is really, but um, I didn't. S <laughs> Brian Kendrick versus Sunil Singh. Okay, Brian Kendrick wins. I didn't circle it down, but he won by submission. And of course, the Sunil Singh and the brother are tagging him, and then Kira comes to aid him. So he's probably going to see a tag team next week of those two. Then Jack Gallagher's out. He's going to get the local talent. And he offers his hand. Blah, blah, blah. And they're having their match. And then, of course, Mike Canales is out there. He's throwing paper all over the place. He's saying, I'm Rooney Show, blah, blah, blah. Drake's telling them, telling the rest of them to get him out of here. He walks out. Jack Gallagher ends up winning. He does a headbutt to the local talent. That was that. Then there's a thing. Drake's talking with Mike Canales in the back. Drake's, Mike's pretty much saying, you want to ruin my life, it's your fault with me and Maria, I'm going to ruin your show, blah, 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 Drake's going to find him, blah, 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 um, and then he said, next week I'm having a match on your show, in your ring, so we'll see, let's see, well, and then he leaves, and then the main event ends up being Oni Lorcan versus Arya Davari. of course, right before Arya Davari's coming out, they start already fighting outside, then they get into the ring, then they're doing a match, blah blah blah. It's, I think it's an extreme rules match because they're using ladders, chairs, and weapons and all that. So, but it was a crazy match. They used weapons. They put them on ladders, and Arya had uh, a submission move in the only had only in a submission move through the chair. So, yeah, it was crazy, but um. I know Oni Lorcan ends up winning. You know, that's funny. What? Maverick, the whole entire time, has been the 24-7 champion, and he has to watch his back and look over his shoulders, and being a gag on Raw and SmackDown, but on 205, he has to be this serious general manager. I know, right? All right, okay. And he, he didn't even hold that title. <laughs> he didn't have it in Yeah, the so there's, like, two things. There's the funny gag... You know, guy for two, uh, for SmackDown and Raw, and then there's the serious general manager for um, 205. Yeah. So where's the ref and uh, something? Yeah. 
to attack the um to attack him and pin him and there you go, he loses the belt. I don't know. It's just it's weird. weird. But the way only one, he put Aria through a table, he had him on art, and then he pinned him, so. That was 205 Live, by the match. It's always quick on 205 Live. But that was Raw, SmackDown, and 205 Live. Um, what did you thought of Raw, SmackDown, or 205 Live? I think it's kind of a surprise to actually see Kevin Owens actually. Yeah, surprise seeing Owens face because I'm so used to seeing him heal. No, he was face for the New Day Kofi thing and then he turned heel when he we find out that he wanted the belt. Now he's turning face against Shane McMahon. Yeah. It, it's just weird. Why? It's because oh, I mean, he, he's he uh, cause he didn't win the title. That's why he's turning face. Yeah. And it's, so true. it's all about Shane, Shane, Shane. But yeah. I'm looking forward to this Sunday, seeing who the match is there on Shrimp Rules. That's going to be interesting. But, yeah, let us I, know. I don't, when I do the, when I watch the wrestling, I don't have high expectations. I know, because it's pretty much predictions. Like, yeah, this person's going to win. It's atypical. Unlike when we saw AEW, like, what was it, last week? Yeah. We saw it online. Mm -hmm. That actually is pretty better because it feels like the wrestlers actually are the ones that are in control of that mm -hmm. management or whatever. So. And plus, we actually see Dean Ambrose throw somebody on. John Moxley. It's Dean Ambrose. <laughs> but. He actually throws somebody onto the mat with thumbtacks and stuff, and there's thumbtacks on his ass. Yeah, so. Let us know what you thought. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.